This is a video about a girder and pier foundation system that could be also used as a strictly a skid type uh, system with the pressure treated 4x6s. So what I've done, this ground isn't uh, level and I've opted for putting piers in it instead of trying to level the ground. <clears throat> and also I'm a half a mile from the San Andreas Fault and this is a high wind area. I get wind rushing through here. So to help anchor it, I'm putting it on piers. Uh, I started at the high end, I leveled it up right here. And then uh, just ran my level across, leveled over to the other one. You can see I'm uh, shimming everything up. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not trying to show uh, great carpentry or building techniques. I'm just trying to show someone that has almost no uh, building experience and very little knowledge of how to build uh, one of these bug out bungalows. So anyway, uh, these two girders don't need to be exactly parallel. They should be level. They don't need to be uh, parallel. So if you're putting them down in the ground <clears throat> and you hit a rock, you can scoot this over. So uh, the simplest, what I did was just laid the girders where I wanted them, started digging out the piers a little bit uh, to mark them, rolled the girders out of the way, dug them down, and then I leveled everything up. So uh, the other thing is everything's cantilevered. So uh, these piers are approximately uh, eight foot, every four foot on center. So there'll be a cantilever, more so on the back, of uh, pro approximately uh, two feet or less. And then the sides, the joists will girder or um, cantilever, oh, approximately 30 inches, depending. Uh, <clears throat> these girders are 12 feet long. That's the length they come in. Well, the next, <clears throat> a typical length they come in. Once I uh, have these down, I can put the joicing down, nail it together, and then since the girders are a little extra long, I'll be able to scoot the um, joicing around if I choose to, to fine tune it. I probably won't need to. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I'm expecting, I got 12 bags of concrete with me. I'm uh, expecting not to use that much. I may. And then... Uh, these are just uh, uh, nursery pots that were left laying around by uh, someone I was squatting on my property growing dope at one time. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to use those to, so my uh, concrete uh, for a form for my concrete. Anyway, uh, I think I'll let the film run and uh, you can watch me work. I remember you I remember 
Our site cleaned up and the girders are all set done with the shovel work out of the dirt <clears throat> so these straps were cut random length the piers uh, vary in height and depth so I'll trim those off <clears throat> and I'll uh, screw them in to the extent that I can uh, reach in there and unscrew it later on this building's movable I could uh, drag it forward need be I don't expect to have to but uh, that could happen so I want to be able to reach in and or under and easily unscrew the uh, fasteners on the straps <clears throat> and I've dug out an access area this could be dug out more it's a, under the house here is a good area to store stuff especially anything you want to keep relatively cool <clears throat> and so I spent you can see how much dirt I took out uh, I could have also raised up the girders more, but uh, I like going in the ground a little bit. And also, since I had this already started, at a later point, I could get under the uh, house and continue digging that out fairly simply. So, uh, other than that, let's put some joisting down. 